Well, the day has come. The House passes a bill to permanently fund the 9-11 Victim Compensation Fund through the year 2090. Last month, dozens of advocates urging Congress to extend the fund that financially supports first responders, their families, and 9-11 survivors who suffered serious medical issues following the attacks. Well, the bill received national attention following passionate testimony that we heard from surviving first responders, plus entertainer and activist John Stewart. This is necessary, it is urgent, and it is morally right. Everybody here is going to be representing those in the community that are still suffering. But we'll all be here for that one final moment, not of celebration, but of relief. All right, that was John Stewart earlier today. The Never Forget the Heroes Act is named after three September 11th first responders who died from cancer-related illnesses, <clears throat> James Zadroga, Ray Biver, and the most recent one, Luis Alvarez, who died weeks after pleading to Congress to renew the funds. NYPD Commissioner James O'Neill tells PIX11 he remembers Alvarez as a courageous man. Uh, what a courageous guy. In, in his last days, he goes with John Stewart down to Washington to, uh, to, plea, to plea for help, not for himself, but for, for all the people who are courageous enough to respond to 9-11. And uh, in the aftermath, uh, so many of them are sick. Uh, all right, so what happens next? Well, the bill heads to the Senate for a final vote. The legislation will cost $10.2 billion over the next decade.